lovely people. So, I want to talk about edge smoothing, specifically in geometry nodes, because I've made this little armor generator, and right now it looks like pixel art, which is not cool. So, I want it to look something more like this. That's better. But, as we'll see, there are some problems. So, if I press C to use the select circle, select some faces in a jagged fashion, and then delete them, I have some messy, pixelated, unsmooth edges. Exactly what I want to smooth. So, the normal way, or at least the way I was familiar with to do this would be to grab a set position and then getting the position, the current position of all the points in the mesh and blurring them with blur attribute node set to vector. Easy peasy. So, if we turn the iterations up, edges are smooth, but <laughs> circles disappearing, which is kind of cool, but that's not what I want. Especially if we do the same thing on our armor. If I grab this and control a to apply the modifier. If I do the exact same thing to the armor, cool, smooth edges, but no more armor. So I have another method that is not perfect, but if you see, volumes are kept, armor is kept, we're not losing it, but it does introduce some little artifacts, like here. So if anybody has any idea how to fix this, that would be awesome. So how do we do this? In the top here, I have a complete node tree with my alternate smoothing method. And in the bottom, I'm going to make it from scratch. So what do we want to do? First, we want to grab the boundaries, the edges, that we actually want to smooth, which we're doing here. If we grab a delete geometry, uh-oh, everything's gone. So we just want to grab the boundaries, which we can do with an edge neighbors node, and we say, if the face neighbors equals one and evaluate on domain for the edges, that is going to get rid of all the edges. That's deleting just the edges. We want the opposite of that. So let's add in a boolean not, oh, not bot, not, and plug that into the selection. And now we only have edges, which is actually really cool. So we want to turn these edges into a curve, which is what we're doing here. So mesh to curve. These are curves now, and now we'll smooth them in the regular fashion using set position and blur attribute. So set position and we're blurring a vector, and the vector is the position, the current position of all the points. And we see if we turn this up smooths really nicely. 
and maintains, even though there is currently no volume, maintains the perceived volume, which is awesome because it's a curve. All right, then let's turn this curve back to a mesh. Curve to mesh, and you will see why in a few moments. And Shift Alt click on this node to connect the output. All right, so this is now a mesh. We are going to use this as a target for the original geometry to try and copy, to try and replicate the smoothing of this object. So we have our original geometry and we are going to set the position of our original geometry. Set position. And we're using a sample from the curve edges we just created. So if we sample the index, sample, index vector and we're sampling the curves we just created and we want to sample their position we need to know which index we're sampling so we're going to try and get the closest point of this curve to our original mesh. So we can actually see things better. Let's join this curve with the base geometry. So we have this curve, we have our base geometry, and this is what we have right now. So we want to find the closest point of our curve edges to the base geometry. And we do that with our sample nearest. So sample nearest. Let's plug our curve edges into the sample nearest, which gives us the index of the closest points. And we plug that into the sample index. And then our sample index will give us the position of the closest points to the original mesh. Plug this in here and oh, it's a nightmare. Although it's actually pretty cool. If you want to make a low poly kind of mech generator, then this is one way to do it, but not what we want. So we only want to smooth the edges of the original geometry. So again we can get our edge neighbors and say if the face is equal one evaluate on domain and plug this into the selection of our set position Alrighty, now only the edges of our original mesh are being changed or smoothed. And the amount they're being changed by is controlled here. Alrighty, and do not make the mistake I just made of leaving this on point, as you can see from these jagged edges change this to edge. All right, looking better. Also, I made an earlier mistake with our delete geometry. We wanted to preserve the boundary edges. Cool. So now we have something resembling what we want. And if we change the iterations, in our blur attribute, 
the original mesh tries to follow the smoothing of the proxy curve, which is very cool. You can see if you push it too far, you will get some artifacts here. So it's not perfect. So it's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than just blurring the original positions. What would be ideal, realistically, is we have some smooth modifiers, one called smooth, just like the blur attribute for the set position, this destroys volume, not good. But we also have smooth lapilation, and this attempts to, to keep volume. And it's really nice for photo scans, things like that. But here, it's beautiful. It's really, really nice. And there's none of the jagged edges that my proxy curve method was causing. So if anybody knows how to recreate Laplacian Smooth in geometry nodes, that would be amazing. So that's something I'm currently looking into. And if I find it, then we will make another video. All right, guys, I hope for somebody this is helpful. And I hope for me that somebody knows how to make Laplacian Smooth. Uh, because that would be super sweet. Anyway, hope everybody's good. And hope everyone has a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.